Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you all of my Schrade knives. And this includes Old Timers, Uncle Henry's, USA Made, and Chinese Made. Majority of them are USA Made, though. So, um, I think there's 41 knives here. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with this big one. And this is the Schrade Uncle Henry 171 UH. It's like a big Bowie style. And this is Chinese Made. You have these thick kind of staglon handles. The screw construction, kind of like the 153 Uncle Henry. But very solid knife. I haven't really used it yet. Feels good in the hand. That blade is pretty aggressive. Looks cool. This is a gift from my mother, I think a year or two ago. And it came in this leather sheath. The button style. Belt sheath and there's a sharpening stone in here but I can't get it out right now because it's kind of stuck in there so you fall out. oh there it goes so a pretty coarse sharpening stone haven't used it yet so can't really contest how great it is but it goes right in there come on there we go Come on. It's kind of hard doing this with trying to get the camera angle and everything. There you go, 171. All right, so continue on. I'm just gonna stick with this, the fixed blades for now. So this is actually a USA made Uncle Henry. And this is the 167 fish fillet knife. Stainless steel. Very long blade, obviously, to fillet some fish. You have that plastic staglon handles, those rivets, good purchase, very long blade. I'm not going to get measurements or weights because this is just a show and tell. But it came in this nice long leather sheath and they still sell a, a Chinese made version of this. I have not tested it out so I can't really see how it is. But a nice stitched leather sheath. And it goes in just like, oh, like that. It's a pretty, it's a pretty long knife to carry on your belt. <laughs> it's gonna be hanging like to your knees. But there's the fish fillet knife. And then the famous 152's sharp fingers. So this is the older USA made one. And then this is the newer USA made generational series. Have not put this one to use yet. But you can tell a little, they're a little different from each other. And I did a review comparing these more in depth if you want to check that out. But this one has a bone handle. This one has Delrin. Old timer, USA. 152. These were skinning knives. Pretty good in the hand. 152 OT. This is 1095. These nice bone covers. Pretty thick full tang knives. And then they both came in leather sheaths. So this is the older knife sheath. Pretty well constructed, thick leather. Fits right in there. Belt loop. And then this one, pretty much the sheath, the sheaths are the same for this newer one. Just no rivets. stiff but yeah pretty nice i can't wait to use this one hunting seasons mm, for me it's gonna be in September or august for a deer but i'm eager to use this one but there's a 152 sharp fingers and then here is my recently acquired 153 uh golden spike 
I've been looking for a decently priced Golden Spike for a while. Um, a good good quality or a good um, condition Golden Spike will run like $50 to $60. USA made. You can still get these Chinese made for around $20. And you don't have a Chinese made one, so I can't really tell you how great it is or not. But good, solid grip, comfortable in the hands. You have these nice grooves, staglon handles. Yeah, very nice. Nice shaped blade. And it came with this awesome leather sheath. Pretty similar to the 152's construction on the leather and it came with a sharpening stone it is less coarse than the the bigger Bowie 171 I showed you earlier and thinner good snap good thick leather sheath it goes right in there snap construction just like that cool so there's 153 and then we'll stick with the bigger knives. We'll do the lock backs. So this first one is an old timer. And I believe this is the 6OT. Yeah, 6OT Schrade plus old timer lock back. Pretty similar to the Buck 110, except for you don't have this bolster at the bottom. You just have straight Delrin. So only one top bolster, which lightens the weight of the knife. There's a shield. These are brass. Stainless steel blades. Because the straight plus means stainless. You have someone else's initials, TD. 95 maybe. Maybe he got a 95. Who knows. But there's the 6OT. These next three knives are really similar to the 6OT. But you can see these bolsters, or these three have bolsters at the bottom. This is the Schrade Uncle Henry. I think this is the LB, let's see. LB8, it's kind of hard to see because the bolster is blocking it, but this is the LB8. LB for lockback. Uncle Henry, Uncle Henry shield, fat squirrel shield. You have the Staglon plastic covers. Brass bolsters, also stainless steel, but good thick, beefy knife. These next, well, these four knives are like the Buck One Ten, pretty much. Very nice. You can still get all these online, but they're Chinese made now, unfortunately. Not to knock Chinese made knives, but I would prefer if they were still USA made. Like I think most of us would, but. I'm not hating on Chinese made knives. And I think this is the LB7. Yes, LB7, Uncle Henry. So pretty much the same knife as the LB8, except for you have these wood handles. Nice clip point blade. Not much different. Pretty beefy knife. Trade made these to kind of compete with the Buck 110. Very similar knives. So there's the LB7. And this is the Old Timer 7OT. Yeah. Schrade USA 7OT. And this is a carbon steel blade. You have that nice Delrin handles. That Delrin looks pretty good. So again, very similar to the other knives. Good lockback knives. Pretty heavy too. All right. So I'm going to start with this side. So here are some slip joints. And I think this is the one, two, three. Yeah, I've not cleaned this one really that well. I got this one recently. This is the Schrade 123OT or 123OT. It kind of looks like a, a hunter 
like a pocket owner knife, but it is a slip joint. Got a single back spring, single blade, Delrin handles, carbon steel blades. But very nice knife. I like this, I like the shape and size of it. Got the lanyard hole. So there's a one, two, three OT. I don't know why I keep saying one, two, three, 123 OT. All right, here's another old timer. And this is the three OT. This is a lock back, USA made. Trade plus three OT. So the plus means stainless, stainless steel blade. This is a pretty small knife. Good compact slip in the pocket, pretty light, only one bolster. Not bad. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I have a lot of knives to show you. So this is actually a really beat up um, old timer eight OT. You can tell this was actually, I think it was, I think this was the sheep's foot blade. It broke and then the person kind of changed it into a pry bar. You can see it kind of shaved it down. So it's, you can easily pry with that or scrape with this blade. I'm not gonna really show you much of this knife because it's in horrible condition, but still works. Here's the main clip point. And here is the spay. Pretty much turned into a punch. But there it is. Here's an actual 8OT in better condition. I just got this one a couple days ago and I have not been able to clean it. I'm sorry. Still some rust on there. But I just wanted to show you it. Ooh. Yeah. Wish I had cleaned it before filming this video, but oh well. Well, 8 OT, and then the 89 OT. So this one, the only difference between the 8 OT and the 89 OT is the sheep's foot blade is serrated. It is serrated. See right there, serrated sheep's foot, which is kind of unique. Carbon steel blades, and then you have that spay. And old timer doesn't put half stops on their slip joints. Pretty common knife. All right, I had to plug in my phone because battery is about to die. But here I have two of the 194 OTs, and this is actually a liner lock from Schrade, USA made. These are really cool blades because it's like a single bladed trapper, but it has a liner lock on it, so it's not gonna close on you, and you can poke, stab things. You know, sometimes you need to stab something to open it, and you have that confidence of it not closing on you. But 194 OT. Good shape. This one is in better condition. Very good snap on these. Carbon steel blades. 94. You can see right there, there's the liner lock. Press. <laughs> Gives you directions to close it. Just like that. It's always a lot harder closing knives when filming because you're trying to look at the screen and close the knife. All right, here is actually a muskrat. And this is actually not that great shape, but this is the 77 OT muskrat. This blade is actually chipped. And a lot of these knives I got in like batches or lots on eBay. So some were in good shape while others were not. 
but this blade is in better condition. It'll still work 100%. You can still sharpen these blades and get a razor edge on them because this carbon steel is easy to sharpen and the edges are pretty wicked. So here's a Muskrat 77 OT. And then here are three of my favorite old timers. These are the 34 OTs. Middle Stockmans. I think they call it the Middleman. Stockman. This is my best condition one. USA made. All three of them are USA made. Very pretty Delrin. Yeah. Shreed got it right with the Delrin. And their fit and finish is great. Got that sheep's foot. And then, of course, a spay. So I'm not going to open all three of them because I think that's a waste of time. But I'll just show you all three of my 34 OTs. Some have more stains than the others. Okay. And here's the baby knives. This is a small stockman. This is the 1-8 OT. USA made. This is a little guy. Let's see if I can see that. Trade USA A108 OT. So this is a good fifth pocket knife. If you want to throw it in your fifth pocket or watch pocket, whatever you call it. Little baby stockman. Sheep's foot. And that pen blade. So no spay. Just a pen blade, because I'm not sure what you would spay with this tiny knife. <laughs> Maybe a, a rat or a mouse. And then this is, I believe this is the 104. Yeah, 104 OT is a two-bladed knife. Same size as the 108 OT, but just two blades instead of three. So they get rid of the sheep's foot blade on this one. So you have that clip point and then pen blade. Carbon steel. Yeah, I need to clean these knives. Some of these knives I, I buy online or eBay and I put it in my too clean pile and I just don't get to it because I get other knives and you know how it goes. And then this is the 18 OT. I think it's called the Mighty Might. This is a one bladed liner lock. Very cool, very useful knife. 18 OT, carbon steel, USA. You have a, another press liner lock, gives you directions. Very useful knife, um, especially if you're trying to poke things and open things that you need poking action. This is the one to do it. Sometimes you just want or need a, a locking knife that's small. But very cool, very nice knife. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to some Uncle Henry's, USA made still. And this is the Uncle Henry 897, I believe. Yep, stainless steel, trade plus. It's kind of like a medium stockman pattern, but with rounded bolsters and like serpentine style. I love Uncle Henry and old timer knives. I know they're not the prettiest, but there's just something about them. I love the Staglon, love the Delrin. I love the, the history, you know? Fortunately, they went out of business in 2004. Nice spade blade. So here's the 897, Uncle Henry. I mean, to be honest, the Staglon looks nothing like Stag and it's kind of ugly, but beautiful at the same time in my eyes. Next up is the 885. I believe they call this the King Ranch and then the Senior Ranch. This is a large Stockman pattern. 
also a very good knife. Your typical Stockman clip point main blade, stainless steel, Schrade USA 885. Again, no half stops. Yeah, brass pins, nickel silver bolsters. Very well constructed. These were considered, well, the Uncle, Hen Uncle Henry knives were considered the higher end knives in Charade's catalog. So a little bit more expensive than the old timers. And here's a very good in shape Uncle Henry, I believe 833. Yeah, 833 UH. Oh, let's go to focus. It's kind of like a jackknife. So you got two blades on one side, a small pen blade as a secondary. Very cool. Pretty much the same size as the eight or the eight thirty-four. Wait, no. What is this one again? Thirty-four, sorry, thirty-four OT. Maybe a little bit bigger. No, same size. I feel like the Uncle Henry is actually a little thicker. But you're a medium sized, similar to a stockman, but kind of a jackknife. Okay, then we're gonna go to smaller Uncle Henry lockbacks. And this is the Uncle Henry LB5, so lockback five. This is stainless steel. Got that straight plus. Pretty good size knife. Brass bolsters, and then you have this wood as the covers, brass pins. I can get a full four finger grip on it, so it's kind of like a mini, mini LB7. The Sun LB5. 421. I'm not sure what that means. That was there when I got it. All right. This is the LB3, just a smaller version of the LB5. Uncle Henry Shade Plus LB3 USA. Yeah. Also a very small compact knife. Very good pocket carry. If you want that confidence of a lockback blade so you know for sure it's not gonna crush your fingers and chop them off i mean if you're careful you won't do that but so this is the tiniest one this is the lb1 so lockback one has a little bail on it so we can catch that henry trade plus lb1 usa tiny blade very compact, good for a keychain, good for attaching it to a pack, you know, just to have. But I can get a maybe a three finger, two and a half finger grip on it. This is LB1 USA made. That bell moves. All right, this one's very special. This one was my dad's knife. And this is actually one of the shreds that was made in England. So let's see. So it says LXL Shrade, uh, West Westenhelm, England. Because Shrade actually produced some of their knives in England for a few years. And this is one of them. I believe this is a stag, stagger bone. But it's a lock back. Pretty used. You can still find these online, but they're kind of expensive. Like 100 bucks. 100 bucks and over. All right. So then I have this is also a Shrade. Um, I'm not sure if there's an old timer, but Shrade Plus. USA A515SC. 
You got the Mac Tools. Don Prudhomme. Prudhomme. I'm not into racing, so a lot of you will know who this is. But I'm not privy to it, and I apologize. I know some of you are probably yelling, like, what the? This youngster doesn't know who that is? There we go. Nice little lock back. A little larger than the OB5. Then I have a floral knife, the Draper Felt. Advertising knife. That awesome sheep's foot blade. Straight plus. 175. I like this kind of cream yellowish plastic cover material that they put on. Very cool. Very good for opening boxes or, I mean, using it for what it was intended to, like cut flowers or some kind of clothing material. Very cool. Good fit and finish. All right, so there are my USA made old timers. Now we're gonna get into like eight, eight or nine of my Chinese made old timers. And this is, the first one is the 858, 858 Lumberjack. Yeah, I got that right. Okay, I really like this knife. Really, really like it. I polished up the the back springs because I think it gives it a better look and I kind of, I sanded down the covers to make it more pocket worn. But this is a jumbo stockman size. 858 OTB, so old timer bone. These are bone covers. And the steel is actually 9CR18 MOV. So an upgraded steel from other Chinese made old timers. A very cool knife. You have this nice beefy sheep's foot blade. No half stops. And kind of like a quasi pen spade blade. Very long spade blade. Very impressed with this knife. You can get these on Amazon around 20 bucks. Fit and finish was good, no gaffs. And just to show you, so this is the Lumberjack and here is the 890T. So this is considered like a large stockman. And you can see this is a lot larger. This is actually a 80TB stockman. Just wanna show you a size difference. So like I said, eight OTB Stockman, polished up the back springs. It just looks so much better. It's crazy how much of a better quality and more expensive knife it looks like when you just polish up the back springs a little bit. Because everything else is polished, the blades, the bolsters, except for the back springs. It wasn't bad, it was just wasn't a mere polish. It takes like 10 minutes to get this done. But just like the 858 OTV, you have these bone covers, kind of saw cut, nickel silver bolsters with that golden tint, and just your standard Stockman blades, sheep's foot, again, 9CR18 MOV blade steel, which is upgrade from their usual 7CR. I think 17 or 13 steel, but these are very good knives. And you, I, I got this one on sale on Amazon for like $16, which is a very good price, I think. Again, Chinese made, but still worth it in my opinion. And this is the Schrade Old Timer 294. So this one has a pocket clip and is a thumb set for one hand opening. It's not assisted, it just, the action's very good on it. Has that liner lock on them. 
trade. This long trapper-like knife. Long clip point blade. There's only a thumb stud on one side. 2940T. Really like this knife. Very practical knife. Especially pocket clip. So one handed opening and one handed closed or closing, which is a plus in my book. This one goes for like $15 on Amazon. But the Dalrin, you can see it's not as great quality as the USA made Dalrin, but not too bad. Okay, so that's a 2940T. We're gonna get to, into some Uncle Henry's, Chinese made. And this is a muskrat, but the main blade is actually locking with a liner lock right there. And it has a gut hook on it. So a muskrat with gut hook and locking main blade. That liner lock. And let's see if I can get the model number. Ooh, I do not have a model number for you. I'm sorry. But same clip point blade, just no gut hook on this time or this side. And this side is a flip joint. So not locking like the other blade. We have these kind of imitation staglon plastic handles. No gaps, you know, the these Chinese made trades are pretty good quality, in my opinion. And then we have the Schrade 834, middle or medium stockman. The same size as the 34 OT old timer, but this is just the Staglon Uncle Henry version. Uncle Henry Schrade. Fat squirrel shield. And these these three came in a little tin box as a set. But absolutely no gapping. I was really impressed with this knife. The Delrin looks pretty good. Good snap. The typical three blades. Look at that spay. Same size as 34OT. Yep. I think the same width. Hmm. Uncle Henry a little thicker. Had some dessert. And then this guy is a little unique. This one has scissors. And I don't have the model number. Oh, here we go. 707UH. So kind of like a quasi sheep's foot pen blade as the main blade and then you have scissors this one's kind of hard to open you have scissors on the second back spring they work i've cut with them before so pretty similar to um victorinox scissors but not as good quality you have this kind of cheapy bale It feels kind of flimsy. I feel, like, I feel like it might fall out, but hasn't yet. But pretty good quality. 707. I want to see if there's actually a... Oh, here we go. I missed it. 877 UH for this muskrat. So 877. And here is a kind of a unique shrade knife chinese made this is their chinese made trade walden i think 65 year anniversary or 75 can't do math right now <laughs> whatever 46 to 2011 is yeah 65 trade walden but good nice nail nick on there this one has a half stop. Um, so this is the 2693 BCT. 
bottom number. You have this little pen blade, clip point. Got these like keyhole shield or danglers, according to Patty. But nice black bone covers. Very unique, different knife from Schrade. And again, this is from their 65th anniversary line of knives. They made like five or six different patterns. They all came in like cool little tin boxes or packaging. And then I have this old timer. This one that was actually given to me by my mom's boyfriend. He's an avid hunter. 28 OT. He's not a knife guy, but he uses knives every day. He doesn't really care about the brand. He just buys whatever knife is at the store, you know. But he's old school, he, so he liked the old school look of this old timer. I think he got it from Home Depot. But it's a good, it's a good knife. It came with a leather sheath, but I lost it. I don't know where it's at. Good locking knife. You have these wood, like half covers, and then metal, and then wood again. Not bad. 28OT. The full purchase on it. Nice shaped blade. And then you have a, this is the newer, um, is it generational? No, it's Heritage series. So this is the old timer 5OT Heritage. 5OTH. And this is actually in D2 steel. And this is actually a pretty good um, deal because it runs for around like $25 to $20. You get an old timer name on your knife and you get the D2 steel. Nice like blued wood, blue grayish wood, polished finish, very good quality, very nice. And it came razor sharp, you know. Five O T H. All right, so there you have it. There is all my old timer knives. I didn't include any imperial knives. I know Strade made a lot of imperial knives, but I just wanted to stick to old timer and uh, Uncle Henry. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I know it was a long video. Um, hopefully, you can subscribe and like this video if you actually did like it. But I'll see you next time. Thanks.